Hello, I'm CPD here again. Um, now, the Corner Campers podcast, of course, has been talking a lot about you know, the whole problem with dual wheeled SMGs or uh, dual wheeled machine pistols, especially ones with a Kimbo on Modern Warfare 3. Um, and I just wanted to go through now, as you can see in the video here. I've used dual wheel PM63s for quite a while, and um, you know I've gotten really good at using them, and you know, I I really really like them on Black Ops. Um, now, of course, the whole thing is you know, are they overpowered in Modern Warfare 3 since they're secondary and all kinds of other stuff. So, um, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, up close and personal, you're dead. You're screwed. And to a certain extent, that's true, and that's how they're made. They're made to be so that, uh, really up close, you're about guaranteed a kill until you're too close, then, well, you know, you'll just get knifed. Um, now, when um, they're in Black Ops, they're a primary, and it's a very effective primary uh, compared to the other SMGs, I think, because they're really meant to beat or be equal to any gun with rapid fire at that very, very close range. Um, now, if you go out you know, beyond that really close range, about like 20 foot or so, or more, they're not very effective at all, or at least if they're balanced right, they shouldn't be. Uh, now, there are ways of kind of getting kills at like really far distances, but it's not very practical, it's really, really hard, um, you know, just about impossible. Um, now, if you're using them, though, on Black Ops, you know, it's very much, you're running around everywhere, and you see somebody, you just push in both triggers and you just let the lead fly. Um, now, like I said before, I don't have Modern Warfare 3 quite yet, um, but I will be getting it, so I'm not exactly sure what the whole situation is there. Um, now, as far as yeah, the ranges and all that on the dual wields. It should be about like a 20 foot technical um, effective range. At 20 foot, you should be able to get a kill, but um, it should be pretty hard. Um, and the damage drop off really should start out uh, at about like somewhere between uh, 10 and 12 and a half or so feet and be done at about 15 so that at that five or yeah at the five meters between the 15 and 20 foot mark um, you're able to get a kill but it's not real, you know, good. Um, and then below that uh, 10 foot mark, that's really about where you would want to be. Um, and about there uh, is a, you know, the right, um, you know, that's the right distance really for that. Um, if you're too far out of it, then 
the curve of the way that they shoot will probably have you missing a good bit and otherwise um, it's you know you're gonna miss a whole heck of a lot of shots and it's not really gonna be that effective um, but like I said um, you know it is still very possible and I get a number of kills there although if you're watching the video here this is whenever um, a lot of people used um, second chance I even used it um, back then but still um, yeah it should be about like a um, I'm trying to think. It, it would be about like a um, five or six shot kill um, usually um, you know on average um, but if you're within that 10 foot range or so it should be just about a um, like four to five shot kill or so um, really you know that doesn't sound like that many shots when you're firing two guns with well, 20 uh, bullets each per clip and you're laying those fly in about like four or five seconds or so but really it is a lot um, because you're going to be missing most of those uh, they're not guns for if you're going to be trying for accuracy <clears throat> and you know, once you're past that 20 foot range I was saying, um, like they, you know, not only do they start to become not very effective, uh, they also, like, the pattern that they start going by, uh, it's not this nice double curve pattern anymore. It starts getting be like just all over the place. Uh, yeah, you know, they just start going um, depending on how long you're firing them and uh, whether you're firing just the right side or just the left side or you start with the right and then start firing the other one or whatever. You know, it starts really messing with it. Um, then, yeah, you know, if they're going to keep them as secondaries really the range should probably be cut in half um, it should probably be down to about like a um, 10 foot range or so um, you know with your like your damage drop off being at about I'm gonna say like 7 foot being completely done um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, then as far as, um, you know, how they should patch it, really, they need a three-part patch, I think. They need to put them over into primaries. That's a big one there. You know, simply because they're not secondary weapons. I have no frickin' idea who the crap decided to put them as a secondary, but they are not secondary weapons. I can't stress that enough. You know, it would, whoever it was that decided that they're secondary needs to pretty much be whacked on the head with one of them. Yeah. Then uh, the second part is they should buff the shotguns. Now, you might ask, well, how the crap does a buff on something else nerf these? The thing is, is that they are meant to battle shotguns, and they are meant to have this very specific battle between them of the shotguns have a slight bit of a range disadvantage. However, the shotguns are supposed to get 
a faster kill within that range. They should have about a 15, uh, like somewhere in the 12 to 15 foot range on there. And they should be able to get like a one, one and a half shot kill. And uh, yeah, it would make it very competitive between the two. Um, then, you know, after that, if it's still a problem, the range is probably the bigger issue. Um, like I said, it's that 20 foot maximum range on a well balanced one, and beyond that, you should be able to get a kill only if the person is standing still and you can get a beat on them just right. Um, or it could be that the angle of them is wrong. If the angle is out too far, then it'll give you a higher range, but they should match up at about the radical, uh, radical. and um, that radical should line up with those at that 20 foot mark and beyond that they should like, they don't like cross like you would think they're like a parabolic kind of shape not really uh, and they come very close right there before doing all their crazy crap. Um, and that really you know, should be the sweet spot for accuracy, except for the fact that um, at that range, people are just running past you too fast and the damage is so much lower that it's about like a six shot kill. Yeah. Um, I think I think I covered about anything that needed covered. Um, just post, reply, um, talk about it as much as you want. Um, yeah. See ya. Thanks for watching.